Welcome to ICS Mahesh PU College, Dharwad. Myself Jairaj Hegde. In this session, I am discussing question number 31 to question number 40 of Karnataka CET 2020. Without any delay, let us get into the video. Hello my dear students. Yesterday only we have completed our KCET exam, chemistry. And today we are going to discuss the solutions of 2020 Karnataka CET test. I am discussing part 2. That is from question number 31 to question number 16. See, this is a C2 paper, but the options are not exact. The option numbers has changed. Please pop up with that just to get what the answer is. Fine. So let us go for the question number 31. What the argument? Benzene plus 6 Cl2 will give plus 6 HCl. And the reaction has done with anhydrous AlCl3 and dark and cold condition. See, we have learned this equation in the first year exam. If we just look into it, we just observe that we just feel that the answer would be BHC, can I say? But the answer is not can I say because the reaction has not done in the presence of ultraviolet radiation or in the presence of sunlight. The, the reaction has done in the presence of ALCL3, which is a Lewis acid, and in dark condition. That is the reason instead of undergoing addition reaction, here it undergoes a nucleophilic substitution reaction. Here for benzene we have 6 hydrogen. We have 6 hydrogen over here. And all 6 hydrogens are replaced by chlorine as it goes out as minus HCl. HCl or whatever the Cl which is present, it comes and attacks as Cl plus. It is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. So the product what we get is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hexachlorobenzene. Not gamaxin. The answer is option B, not option C. Yeah, let us go for the next question. The metal that produces H2 gas with both HCl and NaOH. The metal which reacts both with acids and bases are called ampotheric metals. We have only very few ampotheric, ampotheric metals like zinc, lead, tin, and aluminium. These are the main four metals which are amphoteric. That means they react with both acids and bases. And we have only one among them, that is zinc. Actually, zinc reacts with NaOH to form sodium zincate. Sodium zincate with the liberation of hydrogen. I'm not balancing it. Similarly, zinc, it can react with HCl as well to form ZnCl2 plus H2. It can produce both acids and it can react with both acids and bases by producing hydrogen gas. So the answer here is option A zinc. The next question metal exists as an oxide with the formula Mg0.64. Metal Yum can exist as M2 plus and M3 plus. That means it is a non stoichiometric compound. And its oxide formula is M0.960. The percentage of Yum3 plus. This is a similar question of NEET 2019. We are seeing the same question of NEET 2019. It is slightly changed. What is that? Yum0.964. See, if the charge of oxide ion is O2 minus, then the net charge of metal should be plus 2. Oxygen and minus 2 is the metal element plus 2 equal. That's quite obvious. See, if they have plus 2, 
but here it is not only because of yam 2 plus, it is also because of yam 3 plus, that means we have both yam plus 2 and yam plus 3 yam. Let us assume, let us assume yam plus 2 as x, yam plus 3 as y. See, the total number of x plus y, number of m2 plus and number of m3 plus will be 0 0.96, it is already given. That means x plus y is equal to 0 0.96. What is the value of y? y is equal to 0 0.96 minus x. This is what we know. See, we have got another information. The total charge because of all m2 plus and m3 plus is plus 2. The total charge because of m2 plus and m3 plus is plus 2. The number of m2 plus is how much? We have x number of m2 plus and the contribution of its charge is 2 plus y amount of m3 plus and the contribution of this charge is 3. So 2x plus 3y is equal to plus 2. What is y? y equal to 0 0.9, 0 0.96 minus x. That's why 2x plus 0.96 minus x into 3 is equal to what? Plus 2. 2x plus 0.96 into 3 means what? That means 28.8. That means 2.88. Then 2 plus 2.88 minus 3x is equal to plus 2. So if I take plus 2 here and minus x here, so that means x is equal to 2.88 minus 2. It will be what? 0. 88. That means the amount of x m2 plus is how much? 0 0.88. Then the amount of y should be what? 0 0.96 minus x. That means what? 0 0.96 minus 0 0.88. How much? 0 0.96 minus 0 0.88 will be 0. 0. 8, it would be 0 0.08. Yeah. Now what they have asked? They have asked the percentage of M3 plus. We know the total amount is how much? The total amount is 0.96 and the value of M3 plus is percentage of M3 plus is M3 plus divided by total into 100. So M3 plus we have is 0 0.08 divided by total is 0 0.96 into 100. So it should be almost 8, slightly greater than 8. Because 0.96 is slightly greater, slightly less than 10. The answer what I should have to get is slightly greater than 8. The answer would be 8.3. Let's go for the next question. What is this question? Another question from solid state. A metal crystallizes in FCC lattices. And uh, the structure with metallic radius root 2 angstrom. R they are given, R is given as a root 2 angstrom. The volume of the cell is. For FCC, what is the formula? FCC A is equal to 2 root 2 R. And they are given R is root 2 angstrom. So that's why A should be what? 2 root 2 into root 2 angstrom. So root 2 into root 2 will be 2. 2 into 2 will be 4. A is equal to 4 angstrom. So now what will be AQ? AQ will be equal to 4 into 4 into 4. So it will be 64 angstrom whole cube 
Angstrom means 10 power minus 10. 10 power minus 10 whole cube is 64 into 10 power minus 10 whole cube. It's nothing but 64 into 10 power minus 30 or the answer is not option B. Answer is B, 6.4 into 10 power 29. 64 into 10 power minus 30 means 6.4. You just keep one digit this side. That's another point. So 6.4 into 10 power minus 29 meter. That will be the answer. Option B. Let's go for the next question. <coughs> Which of the following is not a greenhouse gas? We know what is greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gas is that one which increases the temperature of the atmosphere. In fact, greenhouse gas are IR active gases which would have to absorb infrared radiation. The IR active gases must contain more than two atoms and it should be non linear More than two atoms are those all are IR active and if it is IR active it should have to absorb infrared radiation if it is absorbing infrared radiation that will be greenhouse gas the only example or the only option which is not having more than two atoms is O2 O2 contains only oxygen oxygen it contains only two atoms that's why it is not IR it is not IR active that is the reason it is not greenhouse gases let's go for the next question the pair of electrolytes that possesses same value of uh, the constant A in divide by Long's Arthur equation. Divide by Long's Arthur equation is lambda m equal to lambda m not minus the given A root C. So in this case, they have asked what is the value of A, which is constant. A is a constant. It is same for what are the pairs. So the A value depends on many factors, it depends on the temperature, it depends on the viscosity of the solution at the same time, it depends on the charge of the electrolytes. Look at the option, the first option we have, MgSO4, it is a, uh, there is a mistake there, MgSO4 and it should be Na2SO4, MgSO4 and Na2SO4, the charge is plus 2, minus 2, here charge is plus 1, minus 2, so the charges are different. So that's why value of A must be different. This is not the option. The second option what we have is NH4Cl and NADR. NH4 plus Cl minus. Here Na plus Br minus. The charges are same. They are one is to one electrolyte. That is the reason the value of A must be same for option B. So the correct answer would be NH4Cl and NADR. Let's go for the next question. Which of the following pair of solution is isotonic? How to calculate the solution is isotonic? Isotonic are the solution that have same concentration. Same concentration of particles. See, if I have taken NaCl. Let us assume I have taken one molar NaCl. Then it should have the concentration is not exactly one molar because this NaCl produces one mole of Na plus plus one mole of Cl minus. So the overall concentration of the total number of ions will be two molar. So one molar NaCl will produce two mole of ions. Two molar ions. That is the reason. While calculating, let us use the simplest trick for solving this. The simplest trick is number of ions into concentration. The total concentration will be equal to number of ions into concentration. So for this, let us go for the option A. Option A is for the 0.0. .0 1 m BaCl2 as barium chloride can produce 3 ions 1 mole of barium 2 plus and 2 mole of Cl minus so that's why overall concentration will be 3 into 0 0.01 will be water 
0.03 molar. What happened to the pair which is given? 0.015 m of NaCl. So, but NaCl can produce only 2 ions. If it can produce 2 ions, that means 2 into 0 0.015. 15 to the 30. Again, next word of the divided will be 0 0.03 m. The overall concentration is same for both of them. That is the reason the answer must be option A. The answer must be option A. Silicon doped with gallium forms. What would be the answer if the silicon is doped with gallium? C. Silicon is tetravalent. Its valence is 4. Gallium is 5 and its valence is 3. That means it would be short of 1 electron. It contains 5, 3 electrons in the valence shell. It contains 4 electrons in the valence shell. That means instead of 1 silicon, if I press gallium, there will be 1 short of electron. That means there should be 1 positive charge. In fact, holes are the electron carriers. For positive charge, P type semiconductor. If it is having positive charge, that means one electron less, then it would be to form P type semiconductor. So answer is option B. Given that the Fe3 plus to Fe2 plus they have given standard reduction potential value of iron, Fe plus 3 to Fe plus 2. So the answer is 0 0.76 volt and another one they have given in order of iodide ion I minus 2 sorry I2 to I minus they have given I2 to I minus and its value is 0 0.554 so it is 0 0.76 volt and the other one is 0. 5 Then they have asked us to calculate it. They have given the value of 0 0.2.303 RT by F. Value is 0 0.06. It is almost 0 0.0591. We know the value 0 0.0591. Instead of giving 0 0.0591, they have given it as 0 0.06. And the taking place of the carbon itself. In the two electrodes, what they have asked is they have asked the equilibrium constant, Kc. And we know the formula for the calculation of Kc. What is the formula? E is equal to, or E0 is equal to 0 0.0591 by N. Log Kc. So we don't know what is the value of E0. How to calculate E0? Here, we have two values. It is also plus. It is also plus. The one which has high reduction potential acts as cathode. The one which has low reduction potential should act as an anode. The value of E naught cell will be E cathode minus E naught cathode minus E naught anode. So E naught anode. The one with low reduction potential, cathode will be with high reduction potential. So the value will be 0 0.76 minus 0 0.55. 76 minus 55 is 1, 2, 0 0.214. Then substitute it. 0 0.21 equal to, they have given 0 0.059 and 0 0.06. So it will become 0 0.06. Divided by the n value for the reaction is 2 because Fe plus 3 is undergoing 2 Fe plus 2. However, I minus is undergoing oxidation to form I2. But here, as we have 2 ionic, it would be 2 I minus. It's a 2 electron change and it is 1 electron change. So if I do this cross, the overall reaction will become. 
the overall reaction will become 2 Fe3 plus plus 2I minus will give 2 Fe2 plus plus I2. This would be the reaction. So the number of electron change will be 2 electron. So that's why 2 into log Kc. This will become 3. So 0 0.03. 0 0.031s are 0.037s are right here. If you move on the front right, it will become 21. So, on the right side, the answer will become log Kc is equal to 7. So, that's why 2 into log Kc is equal to 7. So, that's why Kc will be equal to 10 to the power 7. So, the answer will become 10 power 7. The option A is the answer. 1 into 10 power 7 will be the answer. Let's go for the next question. <coughs> An aqueous solution of NAF is electrolyzed between the inert electrodes, the product obtained at anode is. The product obtained at anode is. See, I have taken NAF. NAF will go charge, it is also get as Na plus and F minus in the electrolytic solution. Anode should have to go to anode, this should have to go to anode, and this should have to go to cathode. So, what they have asked? They have asked the species which liberates at anode is. Ideally, what should be what should have to liberate now? So we have minus at anode oxidation has to take place. Remember anode oxidation, administrative officer. Cathode reduction, glass representative, anode oxidation, administrative officer. So anode oxidation has to take place. So the product what we expect is F minus 2 F. But this will not happen because I have not taken any if species, so it is not more than any if, it is an aqueous solution of any if. Along with F minus, I can also have oxide ion. So instead of F minus, what will come in? Liberate up. O2. Instead of F2, the species which liberates is O2. It's similar to the electrolysis of sulfuric acid. Dilute sulfuric acid it is exactly similar. Instead of SO2, the one which liberates is O2. The exactly similar way in the electrolysis of NaF, we will not get F2 at anode. Instead of F2, we will get oxygen. So the answer is option B. Next. Let us discuss. Question number 41 to 50 in the next session. Till then, thank you. Have a nice time.